one, we could use the three by one, we could use the three by three or the five by five. You have four different options to choose from. For example, let's go with the one by one. So we're going to place a few of these down. Now we can add as many as we want, or we can just have two or three or one. It's once again up to you because it's modular. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Okay. The next thing you're going to have to add is you're going to need cylinders. Now we have three different choices, either one by one, the three by three, or the five by five. Now, depending on what type of no. crankshaft you're using, you're going to have to use the same type of cylinder. So, for example, we've chosen the 1x1, one okay, one, we're going to need to use the 1x1 one one cylinder. If we had chosen the 3x3 three three crankshaft, we would need to use the 3x3 three three cylinder. So, we're going to again get some cylinders down. Now, you can place okay. them down on any of the exposed pieces on the crankshaft. So, for example, I've just gone and placed them at the top there. We could even go and add some on the side here, so we can continue filling out this whole engine with different pieces of actual cylinders. Now, one thing to note here is that if you have your cylinders in a row, like I have just over here, they do actually share their air, their fuel, their exhaust, and their cooling. However, as soon as you've gone and separated them like I have right here, there is no link between them, which means that each row will need its own fuel, air, cooling, okay. and so on. Now you can get around this by using a manifold piece. Now Ooh, if we go and get a manifold nice. piece just over here, we have three to choose from. Either the corner the piece, stuff? the straight piece, or also right. the manifold T piece. Now if for example we wanted right. to share the air, the fuel, the cooling and the exhaust between all three of these cylinder rows, all we would have to do is connect them to each other. So you can see here I've just connected that bank of cylinders to the top one and I can go and connect this bank over to the top bank also. So now we only need one air, one fuel, one exhaust and one cooling for all three of those banks of cylinders. Okay, so just be aware of that. If you have them in a row like I have just over here, you do not need to use the manifold pieces to connect them up to each other. Hey, now we've got that done, the next thing we need to do is of okay, course hello. go and convert our power from our engine Hi. into something. Now, the only way you can do this is We're to use doing... a clutch. Now, once again, we have three different types of clutches that we can use for the modular engines. We have the 1x1, the 3x3, and the 5x5. These, of course, represent the different types of engines you're building. On we're building a 1x1, one one, so we're going to be using a 1x1 one one clutch. Engine. And we can simply go and place it at the end of our engine, just over here. Now, we can continue building out the oh, engine the by front. the gearboxes, but I'm not going to focus on the gearboxes yeah, in this want, tutorial. Uh, this is okay. going to be focused mainly on just building the engine and actually getting it up and running for the first time. Now we got that, the next key part that we could add is going to be the drive belt. Now, you don't have to have a drive belt, and you also have three different options. Once again, one Are you for sure the one you want to put I think one for the three two engine is one too much. Okay, we're building a one by one yeah, engine, just one so we're choosing the one by one drive belt. As I said earlier, you don't yeah, have that to add this onto your engine. The only purpose of adding this on is if you want to use yeah. any of the belt driven accessories. For example, the belt starter, the belt alternator. If you are planning on using one of those three pieces, then you will need one of these drive belts at the front of your engine. Of course, as I said, if we don't use that, if we're going to use our own pumps or our own starters, for example, an electrical engine, then we don't have to use it. For our example, we're going to just be building it with this and we're going to be using a regular starter. Thank you so much, everyone, for this drive belt. So now that we've got that done, we can start adding our accessories. So for example, okay. the key thing for this engine, if I'm not using an electrical Are you engine, gonna go as I said earlier, I could have okay. used an electrical engine. I'm not, okay. I'm going to be using a starter to start my engine up. So we're going to need the starter piece itself. Now I can place this down, just make sure it is lined up. As you can see there, it is now gone and being lined up Why with the actual dry belt there. So as the starter yeah, because turns, it's, start the engine, you need to turn right? off the we symmetry. We also add an alternator on here that will obviously Why produce electricity if we wanted it to. So once the engine's rotating, okay. it will turn actually start one. rotating the alternator, yeah. which will produce the electricity. We could also okay. add on a pump here. It Pretty does exactly the same thing. Yeah, once the engine starts running, it starts uh, rotating. So you, you it put it again. This pump and start actually moving fluid through the pump. We'll come back to the pump later on and we'll talk about it. Okay. So now that we actually have our actual drive belt, we have our actual cylinders, we have our crankshaft, we have our clutch, and we have our starter. We now need to start working on the four fundamental well, what elements to that your all seat? engines need. That is the air, the fuel, 
the exhaust, and also going to be the cooling. Okay, so they all four of those things have to be set up in this engine. Let's start with more of the easier thing, which is going to be the actual cooling. So we're going to go and search for cooling, and you can see we have a cooling manifold. Now we can place this anywhere on our engine if we want, as long as it matches one of the cylinder heads. So you can see there, it fits onto the cylinder piece. So we're going to go. What is it? Oh, like there's someone. There's someone. I think the YouTube. We obviously need a way to go cool. Now, we could use yep. a radiator for this example. We could use a heat exchanger for in this our example. stream. There's someone there's talking to our stream. I wonder who is that. Hello. Uh, we'll on different ways that you can cool your engines and all hey, I don't want types. something. But for our example now, we're just going to use a simple fluid heat radiator. Why do you keep looking at that? It's that but, simple oh, to use. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to go no, and place hold it Hold on, I'm just fixing it. So once we have that place down, we of course need to go and get this all connected up. But if we were to go and get everything mm -hmm. connected up, there's actually nothing pushing the fluid around here. So we need to add some type of pump. Now, once again, we have several different types of pumps and stormworks. We have an electrical pump, which the just same takes storm off. works. We have the impeller large pump, mm -hmm. impeller small pump, which goes and actually takes a torque or a power input. We also have a large fluid pump, so that's an electrical one also. And we also have the pump that goes onto your drive belt here at the front. Now, for our example, we're going to use this one because we have the space, and why not? So we can go and place it there once again. Make sure there it lines go. up with your actual crankshaft there. Now you'll notice on the pump it has an in and it also has an out on the pump. Now we don't really need to worry about that too much okay. because the actual coolant manifold piece doesn't have. A no, pump it's hard to use a controller. Don't use a controller. So we don't need to worry about. Oh, we, what direction? Gonna, are we going to test it now? So we're going to start and get this wanted, all connected up. So you can see here. Why did you put two? Into our manifold. From our manifold. We're going to go straight into our radiator. Oh, did you see that? Radiator, we're going to go. Going to go back. To the actual Wait, we're going to pump, which is just don't, don't put here. two. Now another key thing that you should take note of is that once we build this loop, that one. there is no fluid in it. This loop does not Where's the engine? Any fluid. Oh, there it is. So you need to make sure Where's that the you add some way of getting yeah, 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 hold on, hold on, yeah, 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 The easiest no, 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 way no. to do that is to get okay, a so fluid put, tank. Let's... Now, when you get a fluid tank, you can simply just go engine. and place it down. Make sure you match the pipe to the actual inlet port, which is just over there. And we're going to place it down. What happened? Now, Where's when the, engine? the fluid tank spawns, it spawns engine. with diesel inside it. I've seen a lot of people that complaining one, right? about their cooling not working because they forgot to change okay. this over. Now, we have two different types of water in Stormworks. Ooh. We have fresh water, oh. and we also have sea water. You can choose either one of these examples. Is our boat? Personally, you should use our fresh boat water is... for cooling your engines. Oh, there the it is. reason for this is that fresh water will not actually start scaling your engine up and stop damaging it. If you were to Wait, switch this over to the... sea water, the salt in the sea water will slowly start to scale your engine up and start to degrade its performance and like that? It in the long term. Obviously, in a few minutes, it won't do anything, but over the long term, it will. Now, what was the great. power we could going out? Water. That's really quite nice and easy. Ah, we could go into okay. more detail of start using some heat exchangers where we could use seawater plus fresh water to cool our engine. But for oh, example, we need the we're wall. just going to stick with a small little tank here of fresh water. The last because the power is to, output course, is hold on here. let me let so me put it here that first up. okay so that's a very basic okay, right? setup so we're going to put it we there the we have the manifold cooling we have the radiator and we have the tank of water the tank of water is essential no we to need to see that so. one so that takes care of the cooling the next thing is going to be the exhaust. So air, now, once again, as I said, you don't have to go and fuel, place exhaust on every single one of the heads. Like I'm showing out here. Coolant, you only have to place coolant, your exhaust on one of them. Exhaust, okay? Because they are fuel, connected in a row, and air. a rank of cylinders, oh, you so only this need means one input or output for all these things. This is where the power now. output. So we're going to put yes, a corner piece the power pipe. Output. We also have a straight piece pipe for the exhaust. So and what we're going to do is now convert it to an actual pipe piece. So no, we can now go what we're going to do regular pipes and stormworks. What? I don't need to extend it, so I'm just going to go and so put you, we an need to put a block here. Now you don't have to use an exhaust. You can use you any to put a block. of the fluid ports. 
don't know what do you mean by that. One, well, two, if you scroll down three, to where we have all the four fluid options five. in your inventory, five. you'll notice that there is the fluid slot port that we could use for exhaust. We could use the fluid port for exhaust, or we could actually just use the proper okay. exhaust. And then we can mount we the. I said a lot of different options. We We're going to stick with the regular thing. exhaust piece. No, just wait, there, I'm not finished like yet. There you okay. go. So that takes care of the cooling okay. and that takes care of the exhaust. The last two and things that we need for this wait, engine the is numbers. going to be fuel. You have to put one air. or six. So we can one go and search for the air and you can see we have a modular 20, engine power. manifold. Ooh, this can simply go awesome. and get placed on one of the cylinder pieces. There's no As power. As I said earlier, we don't need to place okay. several of these down oh, because the they share all their components together because okay, they're in a the row propeller? here. So we're going to go and place the air down. While we're there, we can Wait, also go the and get the intake fuel yeah, manifold. Okay, so we're we gonna put it there. Go and place no, we're gonna down. put it there. Now, as a general rule of oh, thumb, no, wait. you need one part of air of this air yeah, we have currently at the moment versus half a part of fuel. That. So we okay, on this that. example, once again, this this example it changes so depending put... on what type of oh. air intake we use. We could put oh, one there onto this air intake, go. which once again would increase the Is amount it? of air, which means we need more fuel. Yeah, as I said, right. if we stick with a regular setup what, what where we're going looks, to take oh, a is. single air in, which oh, is just there, so a single it's air not filter, line we could use a mean. fluid port if we wanted to instead. Oh, no. uh, that's a single piece going in there, it. okay, and we have a single we fuel have entry, so here. for example, this is going to go into a single tank, then put, okay, put this then one. that means that we need we put two parts of air over versus there. one part of fuel. As a general rough calculation, no, it okay, we'll is. talk about setting up the air fuel ratio in a few minutes. Okay, but just no worries, that. Smitty. Of course, if you All good, brother. on your fuel, let's appreciate say a it. Fuel here and a fuel here. That means hey, wait that a minute. Theory, when are you? Going to have too much I feel fuel. something. Same goes if we go and no, add more air on here. The toilet. We have two or three airs and only one fuel. That what means that we're you? going to have too oh, much air. The, the... the general okay. rule of thumb for me when I've been building these engines is for every air intake I put on my engine, I also put a fuel okay. intake. Okay. So one air versus one fuel. That way I get my ratios right. But as I said, it's up to you on how you want to build your engine. That's the whole point of it being modular here in Stormworks. So now that I've got my air with an air filter, I've got my uh, fuel intake and I'm going to go and put a simple tank on top of it. So you can see there it's going from the actual fuel intake into the tank or from the tank into the cylinder. Make sure that it's on diesel. These engines run on diesel. They don't run on water. They don't run on jet fuel. So make sure it's on diesel. Okay, it does start diesel by its default. So just be aware of that. Okay, so now that we've got everything here, that is in theory, all we need okay to get our first engine actually up and running here in stores now as i said we could add more things like gearboxes clutches um, yeah, wheels. we could add a whole bunch of things on here i'm gonna leave that up to Sorry. you because you might be doing a car you might be doing a boat you might be doing a helicopter you obviously you can go and add whatever you want to on here and you can add the gearboxes that you want on here okay so let's actually get this engine up and running for the first time Okay. okay, so the first so thing we're going to need is two. some way to actually turn it oh, on and really? off. Well, like to do that, we're going to need the starter motor. But the to get the starter yeah. motor working, yeah. we're going to need some okay. So we're going to go and put um, a battery down okay. here. That's so going to be our source power, of electricity so need, to actually get the starter motor right on this engine. Once we've got that on, we're going we to go and get a little up. button to push so that we can start the engine okay so we're just going to go and get a simple push button Straight that will allow us to push it to start the starter motor oh my okay, so simple little one there Wait. along with that we also need to control the air and we need to control the fuel so there's we two different things that we can go here. from we're going to use two throttle levers okay it's the easiest way i've got a fleet mind controller that does this for you However, because I this think is what we're we going need to go the, for our example right the now. The so you can see we have two throttle levers. One to control the air and one to control the, the fuel of the engine. 
Moving on from that, sonar, well, we can start to get everything connected. Light, so we're going to go to our logic, equipment. and we're going to start connecting. Catalytic converter reduces particles from its sons. Standard converter removes fumes and decreases so the number of sons. particles emitted. We're going to take our push button, which is for the starter. We're going to connect it over to our starter. Just over here. Because that's going to allow us to start everything. Yeah. So we actually have a little pump that is connected here for our cooling. Now the pump does have a little clutch on it, so if you give it zero, it means it's not actually allowing any power from the engine into the pump, so it's not going to move anything around. Okay, so just be aware of that. What I usually would recommend is to go and get a constant number, so you go and put one on that clutch all the time, which means it's always moving. Okay, so we're going to put on the constant number, we're going to click on one, and we're going to go and connect that yeah, over to our actual clutch of okay. our What's next little pump is... here. Once we've got that, we can Wait, also we start controlling our air and fuel. You'll notice here we have no, a throttle lever and we have, we have another throttle lever. Electric. Now we can, in theory, yeah, go and connect well, we the pump. And I'm going to do it for my example. So we're going to connect up this one here. over here. We're going to connect this one up over here. Fuel. And we can even go into it and say, hey, this one is the air. And this one is the Damn. fuel. Now, you want a large I really recommend one? if you yeah, are doing it exactly one. like this, okay. lower yeah, the sensitivity yeah. down to about 20 or 20 percent, uh, plus or minus, so that you can do some fine tuning. Oh, this is here. really okay, large. We're just going to do this for yes, now, and I'll show you an easier I way to do the put it in, the in middle. a few minutes to control the AFR values. Okay, and we'll talk about AFR also in a few minutes. Yeah. Once we've got that connected, in theory, there's nothing else we need to do. We, of course, can control our clutch. How much power are we letting through into our wheel or our propeller? Once again, you can use a throttle lever. You could use a constant number. Okay. You could use whatever you want. Just be aware that if you have got a one value, which means power is going through the clutch, then just remember that when you add wheels or propellers or generators at the other end of this, those do take load. So it might be harder for your engine to start up when you've got the power going through the clutch. So just be aware of that. Okay, now that we have that all done, the last thing we need to do is connect the electricity. So we're going to go from our battery to our actual starter. And we're going to get it all connected to our controls that we have over here. Once we've got that, we can then go and spawn this in. Now, as I said earlier, when it comes angle. to getting the fuel and the air ratio correct, usually there if you, you follow angle a simple pipe. setup like this where you have one air and one the fuel, you probably need double the amount of air as you do fuel in this example. So, for example, if we come here but to the air, and oh, let's say the air mind, is, uh, let's do 30.3, right which that. is 30 for me, and then we're going to do 0.15. For the fuel okay. so we now need to get this engine started to do so we're just going to hold the push oh, button we need to angle it and the engine here. is now up and running now it's running really high because we have the, our throttle quite one high here if we wanted to get this a little bit lower we could of course go and drop this down to let's say we'll, like let's do 0.10 and then 0.5 on yeah. the fuel no, okay, so now oh, you can no, see the engine's in running the around this. 4 RPS. Yeah. Okay, so very low on our yeah, throttles. Of course, if we more throttle, we increase the air, increase the fuel, fuel, and we'll run better. Now, if we have a look at the actual stats of this engine, you can see the air-fuel ratio is currently 14 to 2. Okay, that means it's got 14.2 parts of air versus one part of fuel in this engine. Efficiency 97.3%, temperature 34. No, now, Gander. if you want to double check that all of this is working and it's all what up is running, it? just click on page What's up on? on your keyboard and you can now hover it's over things to see. Oh, yeah, my pump actually is working. How are you, brother? Oh, this is working. Oh, look, the temperature on this is working. It's all really cool. Okay, you can also see the coolant scaling if you've got sea water in there. Okay, which is another cool thing. Okay, so now it's time to make this a little bit easier. Now we've already learned that if we were to give a throttle of one for the air, we can give half the amount of fuel to make this engine run the ideal so we know that we need to half the air that we're sending to the engine to get the fuel value. So we can delete this actual throttle lever for the fuel now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and take the air and divide it by two. Okay? So we're going to go and search for a divide block. Just a simple in-game divide block. I could use a function block, but this is once again a very basic tutorial at the moment. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and add another throttle lever over here. 
Okay, now this will allow me to come onto this throttle lever and say this is the air slash fuel ratio, for example. And I can come in and say, well, by default, we're going to start by dividing the air by two. Okay, to get our fuel ratio. Okay. But I want to maybe change it. Maybe I want to adjust it up and down so I can change my air. Yeah, we're doing good, bro. How are you? Okay, so we're going to start at two. And we're going to go in here. We're going to take the air throttle. He's we're being cheeky again. By the actual we're, ratio that we're, calculating, we're making a barge. And we're that yeah. in for our but fuel ratio. Make sure, of course, yes. you have electricity. And I also it's like to change the sensitivity everyone. on my throttle levers. So it's not so violent when we're changing the gears here. And... Going small this and now. And you'll notice that, once again, boom, boom. as we give it, let's say, uh, boom, boom, boom. let's do 0.2. Okay, it's dividing it. How are you, brother? Two, Hope you're doing well, too. It's going and giving it. Okay, let's continue. I'm Shot C. Which is a 0 0.1 in theory. Shot okay, C8 ATTB. So Thanks for the follow. Okay, perfect. Yeah, now, we don't need to touch yeah. this, and we can just yes. adjust our air ratio yeah, and adjusting our fuel as we move on here all right which is so we're really gonna put cool. this so now you have one throttle lever big to control the engine over. Over. okay yeah. so it's very simple so far here. this is where but the fuel will notice, go here, our air fuel fuel ratio is currently 13.7 which is not ridiculous. ideal we want to get it to 14.7 yep. okay, to be more or less 100% efficient yeah. and to get everything yeah. nice and working yeah. well how do we do that well this is where we can come in and adjust our fuel air ratio there sure. you go so now go fuel here, is connected fuel okay what's now happening okay we got a day okay, off we'll no daddy you let's go and you're put actually it down need missing yeah, on and off 14.7 let's number. increase our throttle yeah, yeah we need to do the electrics let's see there we go so now okay what's the next one so we have the fuel he's going down a little bit too much there we have the so fuel and the biscuits and oh we need to have the air let's go and drop it down a bit we need to have air we need to have air intake perfect okay so we need to put a okay which is really quite nice we can drop this down let's do like 0.06 Okay, and so we and need to delete you this can play block around here with this no, to get that. whatever no, values no, no, you want. This engine's now gone and died a little bit, so let's go and turn it on again. No, I'm just now it's just gonna go and idle the, around that the value. One. So let's go up what? a little bit more. There we go. Okay, yeah. so you can the play bottom. around this. As I said earlier, I've got a what? full actual program <laughs> that does this for you, depending on the engine, depending on the setup. But now let's have a look at a few other things. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and give it double the amount of air that we're shooting <laughs> over this engine. Okay. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to add another intake for my oh, Okay. Air. There I'm you go. I can see the fact now. Okay, so I've doubled up on my air now. So we're going to have to have a new okay, ratio of our actual Ooh, fuel here. It's because gonna we're have giving double uh, air, so we need more fuel. A okay, so hole. actually might be smart to come in here and say the max value is Ah, I know. So there's okay. a block that so has a hole. So let's go in here. Perfect. Everything yeah, is still connected. Everything yeah. is connected This one there. here. Great. We can now spawn this in. Let's right. angle. Oh, this one is straight. Now, in this theory, is, this, is, the this one, is going to have one. way too much air in it because we're only okay, going so to we're take the air this. mixture here. So let's say point one. That. We're dividing it by there half, which means go. it's not getting enough fuel in this engine. We'll see that now. And so then we're going to have a look at our ratios here. Yeah, we've got way yeah. too much air in this engine. Blocks, so so this is where you can now go and adjust this, let's say, four here, for example. We've adjusted that. Let's go and increase it. Okay, and you can see the air fuel ratio is too high. Oh, no, so let's go and bring it down. One. Let's see if we can get that air fuel ratio. Look at that. So we're doing we can put that about one, uh, which is almost air. perfect. So there we go. Let's go and start air it up now. And there you go. Air okay, so this is the joy of having this availability uh, here to go and adjust things. Uh, now we can of course decrease our throttle. Okay, you, you look for the L full air filter. You can see that a low throttle yeah. like that, the engine's running much better in wow. comparison to what it was running earlier because we've, we've doubled up the fuel and then we've also gone and given it more air. So that's a very, very basic way of how you can set up and build a modular engine in Stormworks. You can build it as big as you want to, you can build it as small as you want to, you can leave the drive belt off, 
you can add the drive belts, you can use electric pumps, you can use these uh, modular engine drive belt pumps, you can use a lot of air, you can use air scoops, and actually let's go and demonstrate that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this off, and let's go and connect a pump on there. So we could use one of the modular engine pumps, we could use all different types of pumps that we want. Once again, just like I showed you guys earlier on. So we have an in, so let's say fluid port, it's going to get fresh air into the modular pump. It's then going to come out oh, and wait. it's going to go into no, our no. actual engine just over here. Okay, so it's going to go in there. So now it's going in, putting a lot of air into this engine. So let's see how much of a different ratio we're going to need for this because we've gone added a pump now for the intake of the air so let's go and put our throttle to like 0 0.1 increase it up here that looks fine at the moment okay let's go and increase our throttle and you can see as we're increasing our throttle which means more power is going into that pump our actual air fuel ratio is getting off is actually getting offset okay which means we will need to go and adjust this so let's go down a little bit there we go down a little more you can hear the engine revving up there we go so you can play completely around with this this is now getting a little bit too much air okay you can see way too much air let's go and bring it down so you can play around with these fuel ratios as i said as you build your engine doesn't matter how you build it um you will need to obviously change that ratio part if you give it more air obviously you need to bring that ratio down if you give it less air you need to bring that ratio up okay and vice versa so guys this is a nice quick little tutorial to build you i'd love to see what you guys can come up with this leave a comment below if you have enjoyed this video and found it somewhat somewhat entertaining and also informative i know a lot of people have been struggling with these modular engines at the moment getting it built up and wanted a full tutorial so here is a full tutorial definitely keep an eye out for another one we're going to be doing a tutorial on cooling because i know a lot of people are having issues with cooling at the moment uh, and that's a big topic at the moment so we'll take another tutorial looking at that um and yeah Definitely keep an eye out for a lot of people using these over on the workshop. And as always, I hope you have enjoyed this and found it some entertaining and informative as always. And until the next one, we'll see you then. What did you do now? I'm trying to oh, put the fluid put... port. So, so when the water comes in, it will go out. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, Ginch, what's up, Ginch? If, like, if there's a hole in our ship, no, we, we can, we can use, we can use the seawater to cool down the engine. Oh yeah. So what are you gonna yeah, do? Yeah, but I remember there was a fan. A turbo fan that can just fan the engine. No, no, what are you gonna do? Oh, so it's not, is it not connected? No, there's only a missing a number and missing a connector. Oh yeah, it's connected, And also right? I connected the, the throttle to Which the, the I, connect, I connected the throttle to the, to the uh, seat. So I can, Ah, uh, did you? Yeah, okay, I connected good. it. While okay, so what we're gonna do is the, Port. No, this is the exhaust. Oh. This is the exhaust. Yeah, but that's just so a what block. we're gonna do. No, we're gonna put a pipe. Hmm. We're gonna put a pipe on the side. Yeah, but it's look. Yeah, I know. Because we want the exhaust to go on the side, right? Oh yeah, so it can go out. It can go out. Yeah, but it'll be in the, in the way of the ladder. No, you're gonna put it down. Down, and then. Where's my angle pipe? There, there you go. Hey, why is it up? No, that's all enough. Just change the angle. Oh. There you go. And then we put it in. there. Oh yeah, my base. There. Bob, oh my base. Bob. There, there. 
Oh, so it'll come out of the net. Not really pool. all the way. I got the swimming pool at the very end of that pipe. No, we're gonna let the... We're gonna let... We're gonna use the seawater. Oh, to cool it down. To cool it down. Yeah, but how about if it overflows? Hey, what? <laughs> this really... Why is this one over <laughs> oh, here? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So now I can just feel... No, 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 yeah. don't feel it. Because we need, we need to... <laughs> we're gonna need to... Okay. So why don't we just paint the inside first? Okay, I want it uh, blue. We need to paint blue so we can see. Oh. Not, not blue pipes. So, so let's paint this one black so we know that it's the Xbox, okay? Yeah, so that, it's, that is the exhaust. Why is it not coming out? And then we're gonna put, we're gonna delete the block there. Because we're gonna put... We're gonna put a straight pipe in close. And straight line and close. Okay. And we're gonna put it there. And make sure it's right there. And an angle pipe. Ooh, baby. Get it? Now we have to delete that one on top. Oh. Hello, good now, people, and welcome to, to paint this white. Stream. How are we all doing today? Let's get a thumbs up in chat. And then we need to put since we've done a stream here on the channel. It has to be really tall because it's an exhaust. And then what are we gonna put? What's the exhaust? Thing? I hope everyone is having a good day and ready for some survival series. Oh, yeah. Here in Starks. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. After burner. It's a little bit different this time that we're going to be doing. Fluid a little bit different from what we usually do, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Modular exhaust manifold. Ready to go. Enjoying the last couple of updates that we've been having here in the game. No. We need this one. I think it's a great time. We just had a rebalance with some uh, okay. career parts and pricing, so it should be pretty cool. Now we're gonna put an angle pipe here so that. Great. Okay, guys, we are gonna get started here. Um, just go ahead and get everything up yeah. and running. Guys, as always, let me know if audio is alright during the stream. What? If it's not, we can always change it. Oh, we need to so put the catalytic for you guys. The catalytic converter. So we need to delete this. Build the then this one. Catalytic converter reduces particles from exhaust. Okay. So we need to put it here. Okay, so I've actually already got a save all good to go. Um, we have just got a regular, pretty much there you save. Go. I've just kind of made a few changes to it so that we now can, the exhaust will be cleaner. Person. Third person is really useful, especially for you guys watching. So we've got third person enabled. I also have creative menu enabled mm -hmm. just in case we need to do anything uh, during the entire series if something bugs out or goes funny. Uh, we do have it now. Oh, wow. I have enabled two add-ons. As you can see, I've already got one add-on enabled. Um, chat. What do you think is the second add-on that I've enabled yeah. for this survival series? Come on. Oh, tell okay. me, chat. So the next what one do you think is, is the second add-on. The water. I've spoken yeah. about it a few times. Yeah, but you How are we gonna let the water in? Try, try to get a coolant. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. no. Coming up. Hunger okay, mod? look no, for a coolant. I haven't coolant. gone behind the mod, um, gone behind the mod this time. See? What do you guys think is the second add on I've added? Wait, I have, you have to, you have to delete this. Okay. okay. Then I have to delete I've got the rescue yeah, service, delete. yes. Okay. Oh, the arrow. Chicken man has got it right. Chicken okay. man has got it right. See? We have got the second C. add on, which is going to oh, be the. Oh, oh. 
Stormlink. Nice. Oh. Come on. We've got Stormlink on and we've also got the AI oh. rescue service on. Oh. So we can always use Stormlink oh. while we are um I know. Things, I and we've also got Stormlink. the AI rescue um, service. So if things do go completely put, wrong, uh, uh, we can use the AI rescue service. So it's going to be a, a lot of fun. Now, well, let's try first. Let's are, see if we can. Not the, not the beginner, hey, Flo, Owen. Not, it is definitely not. And I kind of gave you guys a little bit of a hint in the thumbnail of the slime stream. Appreciate it, mate. So, Welcome to the stream. We are at How are you doing? Airport bases. Maybe that guys is going to give oh, you a hint. Oh, that's one later. We need, we need we need to complete the, the engine. Oh, we need to pull down the engine. Guys, 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 Remember, why this should give you a good indication of we can, we're going to we're going to use this we're going to start the engine. We're going to once okay. we complete now, the engine, the, we're going to complete, and, we and then we can do the controls. The actual Ooh, storm link one. So Stormlink is pretty cool. Uh, Stormlink has oh, a pretty much like transport missions here in game, so you will be able to transport people. Oh, yeah. you oh wait, I need the turning mode to uh, So you'll notice that throughout okay. the world these this different places, the you can actually pay oh, to open them, okay. uh, and that means then you can transport people around. Hello. Hello. So for example, sliding you hatch. Here, you can see the sliding hatch. I actually don't know which oh, ones are open, the sliding um, but hatches. some of them should Remember be open that for that I was so uh, embarrassed. just buy them yeah. to open them up, that and we can transport people across, which is pretty cool. Um, and then the AI rescue service is a simple command where you can request either a rescue helicopter or you can obviously request a rescue boat and they'll come and rescue you, which is pretty cool. So that's always very good for the survival series and I definitely recommend if you guys are going to be playing the survival series. Those are the two add-ons that so that's I would the personally out. add. So the um, other side just, is in. I think it just enhances the game. I'd love to see AI rescue service. So built into Stormworks, just as it is, but um, I guess you guys will have to ask the devs about that. Uh, and maybe Stormlink, I'd like to see more missions like Stormlink built into the base game. We all know that career is a little black with the missions, um, but yeah, so hopefully I've seen some guesses in, um, in chat for what we're going to be building. I see a lot of people saying helicopter, people saying planes. Of course that is um, quite self-explanatory considering we're at an airport base, but um, cool. What about a VTOL, guys? What do you think about what a VTOL? That? Thumbs up in yeah. chat if you think we should do a VTOL. It's, it's a cool and manifold. That I think it's going to be fun. That Maybe we should do that. modular engines too? Read it. What do you guys think? A a modular engine. I'd love to hear it. Let me know what you guys think about manifold. VTOL and using Attach modular engines. For now, at least, we'll upgrade it to jet engines at that late stage. To provide a connection for cool and Cool. Chicken Man says nice. Aren't okay, a little thumbs up here. Cool. Okay, so, um, as you can see, we've got everything turned on. Everything is good to go. Um, by the way, for those of you that are wondering, I do have custom menu open, so I do have the creative menu open. <laughs> I see a lot of thumbs up. Fantastic. Um, but you, hey, here we go. You guys can see the settings. So I know you can say I'm cheating in any way. You can the settings for the game. The damage is on. NPC damage on. Air damage on. Shocks. I think I know something. I know something. Wait, go into the... Uh, this one. I remember what to go into this one. And then we need to access um, absolutely everything. Engine overheating off. Uh, engine overheating is on, oh, of course. We can do that uh, and in the... And I've just named the third-person things, which are usually the same. Wait, wait, wait. But everything else is stock standard. Pretty much the final series. I see a lot of thumbs up. So the pipe has to be straight here. That's good to hear. Okay, so guys, we are going to get building. So I had a couple of ideas for what we and should then build in go survival angle. series in terms of vehicles. So as I said, I want to build a VTOL. Um, I've kind of got a little bit of an idea. I've kind of got no, a V22 idea in my head. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll do there it. There you around. go. So editor, we have 20,000s worth of currency to play with. So not a lot, but I think, uh, to be honest, I think we should be fine. Modular engines, I don't think it's going to be too expensive. And the reason why I went for a for the, aircraft today is because we've got cool a new windows, water. and then we can build some really cool cockpit designs with these new windows today. So, so cool I'm very interested to see how in. that's going to work. So uh, along with that, fuel. modular engines are not too expensive, so we should be able to get a quite nice for the engine. Fuel, let's put, put, um, put the normally the cool. color fuel so yellow. So that's the building. So we're going to get the yeah, x-axis on for symmetry. Uh, we're going to build a rough, like a very, very rough shape. 
to start off with. So as I said, I'm okay. thinking of doing the air some kind of design is, um, today, but uh, nice. air is so wide. quite a big area to work from. And then the pool so is start off with pool like one. We'll do our general design. To let the water the in. And, uh, let's do something like that. Wait. And you can kind of get the idea Wait, how I'm starting to build it. it. I like it. to build always the front and then work our way backwards uh, in terms of what I want in the interior. So I think something like that. So this one is in. Start okay, so this one is up. a cold. Like this. Possibly, this is once again just a very, very rough design of what it could look like. So something like that. Really? I think we have enough space to work with inside this hangar. It's okay. not going to be a huge creation. But it's not going to be small either. What? Uh, cool. So now we got that, we can start getting some windows and things. So let's go. So we need windows. to have. So we should use. I want to use new stuff. So we need what to should put we do? it in we front. Can use new diamonds. That could be pretty cool. To use the new diamond shapes for the windows. Oh, we can scoop the. Something. The like what? To the that, engine. For example. Oh, we're gonna put and it then on, on the, the edge. Side. We could use. I guess we How could about use onto the bottom? Three by three pieces. There's still all that at the bottom. These are the new ones, which I think are pretty cool. No, it should be. We can oh, use one yeah, of those. Yeah, so we can just build this out a little bit. The bottom, yeah. Like right. that. Uh, let's go. Because build. the water is in the three bottom, ones, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to front. Something like that. And then we, we can also get the UVs, which is. The is the we don't want to flood it. Yes, these are one of the new pieces, which I think are absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's good those we never had yeah, that Yeah, we have to delete so that. We can actually close this piece off. Uh, we could build a little top piece, but I think I'm going to probably that. skip that top piece for now. That's all right. Do something we need like straight pipe that's there. Me. We'll see how it looks in a few seconds. Let's get some wedges. Pipe it down. Top what? Up here. Let's grab no. Yeah, I told you. Bring it. Wrong one. Back like that maybe. And straight. And let's here. use a, a one by two pyramid maybe. God bless you. There Something you like go. That. And then I guess we could do uh, that over there. And then possibly even the do the water one goes over here. In. Wait, can I see oh, the bottom? Wait, wait, the bottom. Yeah. And that could be the start of our. Oh, yeah. Cool. cool. Let's go and get rid of some of this inside oh, stuff. Why? And try and make it a little bit more easier to work in here. Oh no, that is just that is just white. Get rid of all the stuff in here too. And we can we do need something. We have an angle height of that. For the, so the water shape can. Of our pipe beetle. angle corner. And then you can imagine that this is going to go all the way we back, need. like so. We could even curve pipe this piece angle here. corner. Why not? No. Curve this piece. This piece might be flat. At some stage for our wings, maybe a little bit further, like there, and then it's gonna go all the way back. I don't know what is this. Okay. But I think something very, very basic like that. That's I don't want to make it too wide this is either. Angle. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, as long as I can need. fit yeah. a couple seats and things. What I might do is actually just extend it one out. Oh, we're just gonna put the pipe yeah, there. Yeah, I might just extend it one out because I think that's a little bit too I'm just gonna put an angle to fit a pipe seats in there that I want. The water. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna delete that. Let's just work a little bit backwards here. Grab well, that. Pressure, water Let's see pressure. What we can do. Something like this. One, two, three. The water pressure forward will make. Could do something like. We'll I push guess. the water. Yeah, let's grab some windows again. Oh, we didn't have a rudder. Nope. What? Where are all the windows? Let's get Over the here. rudder. Where? Where the diamond I pieces. Remember I saw it in here. Where is that rudder? Is that the one? Diamonds. I'm confusing these diamonds now. Yes. I remember which one is yeah. which. So that's the two which we used that's earlier. I wanted the threes. Is this? One by three, that's three by three by four. Is that is the it? one? Yeah, it is. No, that can't be the one, can it? Okay, on the side. Maybe that's the one. But that's too big. Yeah, but that's a small one. No, get the small one. So that's by three by three by oh, three. That... Yeah, that looks good actually. Oh, okay. We could even do something different here oh. in the front. <laughs> Just coming up with different different designs, guys. Oh. This is not yeah. set in stone at all. 
We're just coming up with different ideas here of what we could work with. Different plans. But ideally, we want to get seats in here. So actually, let's get the seats in before we do anything else. So that way we know how much space we can work with. So we're going to leave one gap in between there. Oh, you can imagine that oh, the doors are going to be over no, I think here, possibly in the future. So if we work with that, wait, I want to try something. Can I? Okay. Wait, that's the thing about it. We could do something around that. Okay, and then over here. Let's get that going. Let's get a square for this. And then we know how much space we have to oh, work that's, with. Oh, okay, that's... So an, that's let's just go and okay, angle I'm that. Good. Put that over there. Good. Yes, over uh -huh. here we could cool. wait, do something they, like that. Which one is... This. Wait, Dad, you have to make sure... Yeah, yeah, we need to turn the stage. Yeah, yeah, we're, I'll, we're like gonna that. go to the lodge here at the front. Yeah, was that large thing? Do... Oh, yeah, that... Yeah. And Maybe. then... Oh, yeah, we have to... The last one is the... Let's see if we were to use two and then drop down into that to have like a little bit of a pointy nose at some stage. We could do something like that, I guess. So where are you gonna put the cool. heart? Let's do another block here. I'll catch up with chat in a few minutes. I just wanna get the general design done of what I was thinking. The heart is actually in to get rid of some of this stuff. Yeah. And I guess we could use some wedges and things. Sit down, bro. I haven't planned any of this, guys. So a lot of it is just free the are so as we go on. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's do Those are the ones from here. Just the general design of the nose. The big ball. Okay. We're going to have a fun time trying to figure out what we're going to do with these windows and things. Okay. Uh, but we could always just bring it back and change it back to something like that if we wanted to to get more of a wider nose once again yeah. let's play around with it find something, yeah. find something that works for us uh we could do let's see because it goes biscuit let's see diamond pieces 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Ones that I said I wanted to use. One. See if we can fit those in 100. Room. 50, 40, 40, 40, 10. We need to put it in an so angle. You that there, it kind of blocks, it's gonna get in the blocks that chair. Back. So we could have moved the chair back, I guess, by one. Put that over there. And then I guess we could get... Tiny pipes. Yeah. Could get something else there. I don't know, I'm just playing around with ideas at the moment. Sleepy. Uh, I'm not that sleepy. Oh, there are more windows, so a little bit less an issue. Yeah, the thing is, that you get more things, and then it's you kind of like a little bit harder to play with things. Um, I'm also just worried, and we're looking at money wise also, for that's another thing we need to keep in mind. Yeah, I do a diamond. Oh, we are chin wheels. Uh, and I was thinking of Tap doing something it. like that, but. What? Tap on I don't know. Reaction wheels. Uh, we could always change this, that? I guess. Oh, and bring this back. So we could do a diamond shape over there. Oh, uh, yeah. Can I can you into... click on it? Now that's how you're supposed to shoot! Oh, From now on, that's how you shoot! Somewhere. Oh! Is it? Yeah. And we'll play around with that design there in a few minutes. Uh, over here, we okay. could do so we're gonna grab say. two by two inverse pyramids. A cat on his face. How about Robbie screen? Correct. Okay, let's see now. We're gonna connect yeah. the. That should fit there, and then oh, I'm gonna switch. Oh, I need a button. No, you just need oh, to make it closer. Need a bit high. Yeah, to make it go back too far. I have, and I guess I we have could a switch. Do... Okay, you put a switch. Two over there. there Still not kind of getting the shape that I was looking for, to be honest. You guys know me. I'll I'll do things over and over and over again until I'm happy. <laughs> Absolutely happy with them. Cool. Wait, I 
that, and then that. Oh, we can play around that in a few minutes, I guess. Uh, let's go and get this sorted out here at the top. So we're going to go and do... How far back mm -hmm. is this? One, two, three blocks. Okay. So we could do something like that. Grab these ones again. Stick this one over here. Uh, it means that this doesn't match up, which is fine. We can always play with that and change around what we have here. We could even change that into a one by two. So one by two inverse permit. That way it would kind of match a little better. Something like that. And then you could use this across here. And then you could use like that going up twice in theory if you wanted to get a really like rounded off shape there. Uh, I don't think mm -hmm. we're going to go for that much of a round shape there. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to get a little bit more square. So for example, we will square this off at some stage and then that off at some stage. So something like that. That's what I was going for. You need to get this all built in there. Get this built in there. Ooh, get this built in there. I think height is fine. Oh, we're going to delete this. Oh, we'll why is it get some windows here at some stage. Um, what did you put? We'll probably delete some of that stuff. No, plus e cool. We could even replace this middle piece okay. with a window so if we want to. Uh, let's no, go and grab yeah. this stuff. No, it says here. So no I'm input. I'm quite happy with how. Yeah, that is external. This, this is the input. The same oh, thing on this side. Okay. So I we got that inverts. Wait, wait. And then we're going to go and do something like this. But we're going to actually slope it more back. Uh, so if we yeah, grab so you these, put it in the engine. Do something there. like that. Gonna have to delete that piece there, but there go. good job. And then you connect the engine. Nice rounded here in the front. Oh, wait. This thing. Mm -hmm. And then over here we should be able to switch to. Let's see. Does this fit here? It should. Here we go. And then we can do now I have to something like it that. Something like that. And then do something like that. So it's a little bit wider than what I would like, to be honest. But uh, we can play around with it. And get some nice ideas here. We're going to go to this. And then into that. And that. That could be another option too for us to do. Wait! It's not toggling! Alright! Nice! Okay. Or well, maybe it's on, it's on the wrong... Wait, I, I do feel like I would like to change in the future though, but I think we'll leave it like half an hour guys. Yeah. Uh, and we'll just update it as, don't we, put it in as we carry on already. So let's kind of get the rest of this done here. And we're going to go into think, this. Yeah, and then this can go over here. Cool. So that's what we're going to go with for now. And then in the front, we're just going to close all this off. We're going to use a 1x2 wedge and then a simple one here. Cool. Okay, so that is done. I'm happy with that. We can add some windows and things in some of this area at a late stage. Uh, let's just go and try and connect this together. Don't know how we're going to do it, but we'll figure it out. I guess we could use just this, like that. Okay, cool. So that's what I'm going for. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. Um, smooth frame. It just takes, you just have to redo it and redo it until you find it like what you like it, to be honest. But um, yeah, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. It, trust me, this design is not going to stay like this. It's going to change. <laughs> it will definitely change. You guys know that. Things will take time. Okay, uh, cool. Let's go and fill up the floor of the beetle. Let's get the wedges in here. Height, I think I'm okay with the height. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay with the height. We could always drop it down one more. But, um, and like drop it down over here, but I think the height should be all right. Cool. Okay. Uh, what else do we need to do? Well, we're going to build the wing part, which is going to sit about yay high over there. Probably get wedge 
damage pieces over there. Wait, there's something yeah, that's wrong, right. Dad. Look. Uh, and then we can what? do. Should we do some wings? How much are wings? Probably worth it. Look, Actually, no, power. let's not do wings. We can just do yeah, that's, blocks, that's for the logic. We're going to do okay. Okay. Blocks so the border uh, controls here. We need the... We don't have that much space to work with, so I just want to that's make sure we have enough space for in... uh, 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 propellers oh, and things. Which way do you connect And it? then something like here, we could use a 1x4 permits. And then you don't connect it there. Something like so that. The and then this could always be added. Has to be over possibly there. wants it to be used or something like that. Yeah, if but it's really not working. Do it. And then the cool. throttle. Okay, so oh, very basic throttle. design. Where are you so going to put the far, throttle? Ladies and gentlemen. The throttle, it's, it's, well, it's in the good seat. Basic designs. This guy's some seats in here. Oh, yeah. But that's yeah, not the throttle, you can't adjust it. Oh wait, I have to get something. Yep, there's hey, some I have seats to get something inside there, the we're also going to get some landing okay. gear or a wheel. Get a wheel coaster. There we go, a throttle here. Nothing special. Hey Loki! Cool. This Welcome. Is going to be a How are you? Here, and then this will probably be a door going across for... Yeah, you need a throttle lever. Just... We can also possibly You're doing good, thanks. On. A little bit of a side it's area. Friday area evening. Just thinking about that now. So maybe if we were to do that from here. Into it's already the weekend. It's the weekend for us. I'll we'll give you a shout out. Let's delete some of this. We'll obviously make some space for it at a later point. But I'm um, just getting a rough shape done for that. And then you can imagine we'll also have some wait, wheels. Wait, what's J do? No, wait, wait. Wait. Let's do it. So J K L wait. is how you twist it. So how about I? We put it on the side. I. Don't come on to me, bitch. So you need to. You need to look at it closely. Yeah, I need to put it here, like there. Okay, so very basic, like there, very, very basic detail, guys, up. as you can see. No, it has very, to very be basic like one. <laughs> so far that we've got <laughs> in our design. Daddy. It's supposed to be so there, we'll right? Top bits and things inside it. Uh, let's just spawn that yeah, on and see what that's going to look like. Uh, wait, turn so, it yeah, around. Very, very basic feature no. at the moment. There we go. I don't know. Wait, catch up with chat for a while. No. What do you guys no. think so far? It looks a little bit chubby. The done plus. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's gonna, gonna be down or up it's gonna or up or down. As we go okay, through. so yeah, that's alright. So see the but, plus. Um, I yes. think we'll look we'll look half decent once we get going and must remember now that beetle will be the plus cool there. Session rescue, yeah. you can do really okay, good so now we need to do how we have to connect that to, be yes. to the to, to the propeller thingy. We'll right. No, to the engine. We'll hey. have to wait and see. <laughs> Yeah, that one. Where is it? Okay, chunky, yeah, uh, chunky at the moment. We need to connect it will get there. rounded off. We'll round and then it off. The... Right. Well, now, we'll survive the series for the first episode. I don't Where's think we can go wrong, to be honest. Uh, cool. No, but Let's I already put the AD. I'm just doing a little bit more detailing. And it was. I already to... put the water. Yeah, I'm just double checking. So just double at the back, checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sloping it. Is this the AD? Yeah, that's this one. AD. AD. Did you put it flow. in the rudder? Yes. Did I? Yeah, it's in the rudder. Yep. Possibly. And then how about put this one too this over and... there? Yes. So we have. What's this one? The W and S is parts. the forwards. Yeah, the W and S like is that. the forwards. You need to and then we can imagine we're going to no. get this out. No, there, there, there. Like that, so. The down is not important. important. Like so too. And the up. Oh, yeah. Let's just bring us a little closer engine. in. One, down two, is for the engine. Three. Up is for the engine. Yeah, hey, it's, it's not there. That's the temperature. Where's the engine? That's the... That's the throttle. So maybe use oh. one by twos. We can also extend it. Yeah, that's the stage throttle up and down. So you don't need to. Let's delete that. So let's just bring this back. I think that's Fantastic. it. There's only one that's... Let's give it a try. Yeah, let's give it a try. And then just fast travel back to the Okay, we'll save it first. Large. 
Cool. Like that. Cool. Okay, right now. Connect that too. Cool, and then this can get joined together. Ooh. This is going to get joined together too. I guess we can put a door here. Yeah. We'll walk oh, front a little, and I was expecting to put a door, but I guess we can put a door over here at some point. Uh, let's get this closed okay. off for now. I just need to get it. Okay, let's get yeah. this angle mm -hmm. and done up to how I want it. Okay, the engine. And that we're going to do. Me? Yeah, that's it. It's on. Let's yeah. do a two by two pyramids over here. See, look. How close can I get out of? The and then we're gonna go into. And go across line. Not oh. turning on. Oh. Put the okay, input there. That I needed to do. But I don't know oh, how to do I the input. Like no, no. Like that was the input thing. Yeah, we need the battery. Good! Uh, that I can quickly just use mm -hmm. control Wait, to pull the power and just yeah, makes it yeah. a little more quicker. Yeah, hold on. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, 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 uh, actually, no, let's go into a one we by two instead. Mm -hmm. What's this? An electric block. Wow. Yes. There we go. That's what <laughs> Medium. And the reason why I was doing that is so that we can Small. angle some pieces. I want the large. large. The large one. So, yep, yeah. again. Get the large one. Imagine that this is going to be over there. Okay. This is going to go Hi. there. Okay. Thanks for the alert, Tassie. Oh my. So. This is too big. Actually, let's use a 1 by 2 wedge. Can I do that here. again? Can. There you go. And we're going to go so. like that. My right, okay. finger so. looks clear. Grab this. Me, 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 me. Wedge across there. Oh, oh. <laughs> so you can start to see that here on the side it. pieces. And those will be a little bit of a Which will be great. <laughs> we're going to get some windows. Maybe there. There. Now we just need to input it through those two. Right? No, so we need so to go up and yep. there. That's, there you grab go. some wedges, stick some wedges there. We need to. Oh, happy days. Hello, the battery's already charged. Oh, getting that. there, getting there, getting there. Slowly yep. but surely, guys. Oh, uh, well, that is red now. In. We can delete some of this extra yeah. stuff that we oh, don't need. That. Remember, this will oh, all give us no. space to get fuel in. That's a late point in time. I think we can even get rid of this, can't we? That one needs Maybe later. power. Okay. Too. Uh, cool. So that's oh, the door oh, over there. That's going to be our pilot oh, seats and stuff. Oh, is it this one? Oh, yeah. 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 We'll just need to run this piece off here at the back Again, and make that look half decent. So we're going to put it on like that. And we're going to use our electric one by four wedges to. Hopefully, bring this all the way there. The back here. And also on those buttons. And then we'll yeah. start by working on there. connecting all these up. Like so something there. like, let's see, can we use? Is that it? Yep, that's it. Let's see if we can use. Now maybe we just. But how are we gonna charge the battery? Oh. Over here. And that how about charger? Yeah. 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 yeah, we need to. Charger. So like charger. That's charger. Electric, work, electric charger. Electric charger, one way charger, and charger Join transfers electric here. one way between nodes when there's a significant discrepancy in charge. No, we don't need that. We need we, over here. We we what we need is an alternator. It converts maybe... the engines. Wait, the alternator needs to cover it. I know Fantic that, did that. that. Match with that. No, the that's issue. the one that changes uh, it's the mechanical and en mechanical Hello, to down, electrical down, energy. Down, so down. No, electric just motor. Down. And then down. from there we could Hello, go down. Down. Yeah, that one. Down. It's electric motor. Yeah. I don't know. Or this one. Just playing around. That's not a rocket fuel. Thanks for the shout out, mate. Usually when I'll build something like this, guys, I would bring some photos or get some inspiration from somewhere. So the moment's the first. I'm just taking the straight Rocket in my head. Fuel. Um, and I think it's going alright. What? Did you see that? It's not the worst. Large engine, medium engine. 
Why? How about medium electric motor? Let's take some of this stuff uh, up over here. Boat. So here we can go no, to we don't need two to. permits. Here's it. So that's this one. That's a door panel. Move this around. It's cool. a key button. And then we can go up into that. A large propeller. Into that. I see the alternator. Levels. Yeah, there's this, uh, this small yeah, we'll electric. This is yeah. just to get the rough shape done. And then once a helicopter done, boat sounds awesome. Yeah. Up, you can start getting your design. We're just trying. Exactly how you we were just to exploring the, uh, the, moment, the just different rough, mechanisms. Rough and, done. and then I can drive it. Yeah, we'll if we can. Uh, we <laughs> the basic simple principles of an engine yeah. of a. Uh, a biscuit? Oh, wait, there. wait a minute. It's oh. one. So we need to put the electric okay. motor cool. here. And so even far. over uh, we here, here on this mic. That's a later time if we wanted to. So nobody yeah, hears us. Cool, cool thing to do, I think. <laughs> okay, now we need to play the fun game of trying to get this to all <laughs> the side. The electric engine so there. Gonna be quite fun. I guess we can so use the mechanic. These. We're gonna do pyramids there, we're, we're gonna put one by one. electricity. Possibly. There you go. So the input Ooh. there. So match up with this though. There. Let's see if we were to do. Is it? Yeah, it's already intact. But wait, go back to that so motor. There, go back to, to the motor. In order for go it to back match to the motor. There. there is a triangle still. Okay, so that could work. We just need to look. Look at this. Here at the back, look, and maybe a triangle. Yeah. Why is that there? Possibly. What's the triangle? What if we were to use... Oh. Yeah. No. Uh, oh, you deleted that. What? Get rid of that. Maybe switch it over. Well, that reminds me of the space cable or, program, but with a boat here, inside of a spaceship. Of Ooh. Wait, I know space cable. I, I saw that That's, before. Uh, it was in Space Zero Zero One. We can make planes, no. rockets. Grab this, oh, really? This. Yeah. Yeah. That one? Yeah. Mm. Uh, Wait a minute, do we need to alter alternator? That will take two seconds to fix. Cool. Alright, let's see if we can get that connected over there. Wait, I'm looking for the. What is that? What is that? And then this stuff here, we'll just go and do that. Friction pad. We could even round this off. Alter. Nature. There's no alternator. Well, no, I think I'm okay with Wait, what is. alternator. Um, cool. We're going to play with this How stuff on the side too. I did. Just tell me to get this. I need something great that you didn't see. It's probably a little bit too big, to be honest. It's a little bit smaller. Huh? What's this? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, we can extend this by one. there it is. We're going to put some... Oh, you didn't see. Yeah, so, oh, okay, so clutch pressure in better. the electric. So, for example, we can go to rubber. That modular engine alternator converts mechanical energy from a drive belt to an electric energy. Uh, okay, so very basic so far. Yeah. See? Not bad, not bad. Not right. bad. We can even reduce my... the size here if we need to. Okay, how are we going to use. How are you going to. Okay. Well, we're gonna use the drive shaft. That's right. Oh, we need to fix some Wait, of this. What happened here? Type in drive shaft in here, okay? Did I delete drive it and point? shaft. Maybe I did. Drive shaft. Let's just fix this. Shaft. Shaft. Yeah, there we go. Oh, modular engine drive belt. Ooh. And then we need one by two. So how are we gonna do here. that? Wait, I think you just attack it and then put the charger thing. Can we put it here? Put it? No. No, it's an what engine. Did I have here, it's, a, it's an add on something here. Engine. Did I delete something? What did I have? Go, go. No. Okay. I'm sure I had that. I had that all boxed off and uh, done. Uh, Maybe uh, I didn't. Maybe it's all You can put it anywhere. Something. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. They should add a three by one. Just I agree. Call... They should. You can put it anywhere. I don't think really and... should add a three by one. It would it's make building so somewhere. much easier. It works. Yes, Control Z, you can undo. However, you also have it. Oh, no, because that one is a belt. Yes. 
So, we need a belt drive. Okay, well, to do the belt drive, so it so means it goes here. here. So, gentlemen, I guess we could use. Huh? We could fix this. And then, later, later, maybe do like a and then the release. drive has to be somewhere. This. Oh, uh, I get it could now. Do like because... that. And then for here, you could use a 2 by 4 pin. Yep, you know it. Like that. Something we don't like need that. that. And then to fix it, we would just need to come down here. And then we're going to put a block. Like here. And here we're going to put a block there. That's. And then we just need to kind of join like. this random like. stuff together. We're going to put a block to there. Okay. Over here. So we could do kind of that. Wait, Delete how about that. paste it? We have to paste it. And then. And remember, you have to paste the right, whole entire boat. One of those? A what? Yes. Pasting is actually okay. a So we've got that on. We're going to rotate that and do that. Delete all of the stuff that we don't need anymore. It's Close this off. Okay, the so back. we need. And do no, this. this. And put it there. This. No, this has to be there. Got and the then the belt right. has to be. Facing there. There. Yeah. And do nope. that and that. Nope. No. Wait, no. Down. No. Line it up so with that nice. stick. Yeah, I know. It's fine. You did line it up. What? Cool. Yeah, why not? Okay, we're going to close this off here too. Uh, so let's get a block in there. Uh, we might as well do our fuel one? also while we're here now. Uh, so we're going to go wait, up here. Go. Up here. There we go. There you go. Custom fuel tanks, I think. There it is. Now we just have to put the uh, power. I think we can fit enough what? fuel inside the these belt? spaces. Wait, no, so the belt is already smaller. intact. We should yes, do. Yes, see it. It's funny. Yes, we do. I'm sure. So we can get a food spawner in there. And those are going to go up into the wings and then across over to the engines we which we're going to have there at a later yeah, point in time need... oh okay. look the power. Yeah, i think that would work quite well yeah so put the power in the battery okay let's yeah. go back into our cockpit area yeah. so that's all good we're gonna have fuel all the way yeah. along here might as well just close this off and the other one if you guys want there's to get no more capacity one. with your fuel what you can do is with these pieces here oh yeah there's the only one here, yeah if it doesn't have any wedges or anything on it, what you can do is okay. just go over here and, and use that drives wedges, it. and that way you get extra capacity yeah, inside here. And then you're gonna put like that, the and then you can do the same thing over here. I'm just gonna delete some of these extra blocks that we don't need. There. Yeah, we're gonna go and put right. Yeah. Let's so see. Spawn a block I there it. Like, so oh, no, oh, let's save it first. Oh, yeah. Save and spawn. And make so sure it faces the other direction. So and then spawn. So, and then this one is going to go across like that. There we go. Cool. And then this piece would go up there. This piece would go up there like that. Cool. Okie dokies. And we can just close this off. Cool. So now we've got that filled and that one. Should all be pretty nice and smooth. Oh, uh, it works! And then right. turn on the throttle. Right. The throttle. Okay, so right. back, uh, this is not working. Because the throttle. Yeah, we should do it at the end of the Survivor series. I usually post it up on the workshop. It's still not stopping. Yeah, Windows is bottom of the cockpit. I'm oh, I think because the electric stuff is not in there. Oh, okay. And the engine is not connected to that thing. Delete the 2x2 and make it 2x4. And the engine yeah, always yeah, starts, but not this. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Put that. Still not starting. So the next thing I think I would probably want to work on, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be getting the fuel up from here. Go back to the work, then. We're going to go to the machine here. And fix some stuff. 
there, there, and there. there. I'll fix the stuff for so we're you. Get the fuel okay, off wait. There. We can get a little wait. connection piece over there. I would actually be thinking about it. I don't know if we should do a cross flow system so we can cross fuel across two tanks. That could be quite smart to do at a late stage. Uh, let's go and get some enclosed pieces. So we can go straight. Wherever it is, there we go. No. And that's going to go Wait, up over yeah. here. What is go across this one roll, audio, video. Opposite. Are going to be eventually. This one. All the belt is the belt drive. Goodbye, the belt drive. With the windows being moved out of the top section, I get confused. Okay. And then oh, things are so the amount of fluid in the tank. Oh, so that's the. And now because things have moved around, that's the output. I have to kind of retrain my. This one is an output. To make sure I click output. on the right one. No, that's okay, input. so that that's is good. Input. We've got that's our control input. surfaces that's at the back output. here. Actually, yeah. I think so I might this one. this one down by one. So what is this clutch so pressure? Yes. Oh, so we need the clutch. Yes, so. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so for Wait, now that's okay. We're also going to need some control again. surfaces. We need the clutch. Here, here. Put them facing it. up. So it's can like a... Out. Cool, so we've got control surfaces there. We can and even have another one there. How much are these, by the way? This, can you just... hundred each. So that's, well, that's quite a lot of money we just spent there. So maybe we can get rid of a few of them for now. Bless you. <laughs> okay, so we've got that uh, done. We've got our enclosed pipes there. We've got our fuel. We're going to need a battery. Oh, how stage, do you move so the well camera a little bit I'm going to stick two batteries actually here in the front. How do you move the camera hey, give me, give me That way it puts a little bit of weight in the front. Um, so it should be pretty good. Cool. Oh, now we need to take that oh, fuel and actually send it over into our VTOL system and actually our engines and everything are going to be on here so we could just use a hose that could be one okay. way so let's grab a let's see we're going to use a pivot over here I don't think I'm going to What's use a robotic I think I'm just going to use a I think going to be the clutch I'm going to use a regular one to be honest no that's the control of the clutch we, we need to have the control a one and then we can use... you need to have the act Actual clutch first. No, the actual oh yeah. Hose to connect the fuel across the clutch the two systems. So hose no, anchor uh, and put it back over there for example. The clutch. And then we're gonna build our engines engine clutch here. Now one, two, three, four, let's do I think three would be enough. We're going to do okay, modular so... engines, so they can be quite nice and compact, I think. Uh, or we could do a nice design, like a shroud on yeah. top of it. But uh, I think... Yeah. Let's go with that for now. We're going to build the engine so, there. Uh, we're going to put the... Use, by the way. Let's see. Rotor. We're going to delete this, rotor. and then we're going to put the plot. Rotor, ends, no. rotor. Those are quite big, I there. think. And they don't really fit. I would like to use those because they're quite That's nice it. and big. That's it. And then we're going to put... Wait, we need some luggage. Yeah, it just doesn't fit. It's like one, Wait, one block. That has to go to that other block. We're going to do it here. Okay, yeah. So we oh, need yeah, to... Power. What do you guys think? Yeah, so we need pillars? to put another Shall one we do there. The pillars? I think it's going to be a good idea. Wait, why is this two doing over here? I think we should what do that. that. So we need the clutch here. Yep. I think that'll look pretty cool. Why is it spinning? Here. Oop, place it, place it. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with that then. Oh, wait. And um, daddy sticks. I will make it work. What, to do. what we are going okay. to do though is we are going to disable Stand symmetry. The power. Uh, Actually, no, we're not. We're going to leave it like that. Uh, one thing I'm going to use, guys, is I'm going to try and use TT's VTOL controller. Power there, and it. then go to the data. Let's see. He's got and then you connect to the input. Wait, where's the input? He's got a VTOL controller. The green one. I love to use. And then you put it in the clutch. Maybe I need clutch. to get his creation and take it off. Let's just check the mic controller editor and let's see what's in here. So... TT. Ah. Yeah, there's a VTOL here. 
He might have it as one whole. I think he's got it as one whole creation. So let's just go out of yes. here. Let's go into oh, insert selection grid. No, you don't need to. Load content. Um, let's it's do just for TT it's an input. Beetle. I did a video on this quite a oh, while ago, yeah, but it's that's fine. really good. This is in here. Now can we drive our boys? Out of, yeah, might be out of my downloads. Can... Let's check. Oh so, wait, that. Not... TT. Much pressure. Wait. I'm sure he has one. Yeah, there it is there. TT Rotor Tilt. Yeah. So this is what we're going to be using. No, for you can't put two the in there. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, so do input. See? Fantastic. Let's do output. Oh, that's two uh, input. Uh, let's input. go and stick it on and we'll move it later. Let's just get output. all the controls and things that we need. Um, I also need to double check what we need to face in which direction. Okay. So collective left. So I think everything's pretty straightforward. So yeah, right over. That's occupy. Everything is pretty straightforward. So output is standard value between one and one. On off. Okay, occupy. so I think we're pretty much good then. I think we can leave everything as standard output as it is. Uh, let's get some modular engines going. Why not? So we're going to grab a Let's see, that we'll use gearbox. Output the signal when, when one gearbox. is down. down. Should be alright. Yeah, actually, let's get symmetry mode back on, guys. Before we do anything else. Uh, do yeah, yeah, I'll bring gearbox you the on there and there. Cool. We're going to go into clutch. Yeah, there's all power now. Kind of the backwards, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, uh, we're let's try. Here, we're going to grab wait. a... Let's see, what else do we need for the module engines? No stuff? power to there is. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna grab. They're all powered. Jobs. Make sure it's facing the right way. Yeah. What should we do? No, it doesn't. Maybe that long. Okay, yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, let's Four. wait. How many first, cylinders though? Are we gonna use one, maybe eight, maybe twelve. Twelve cylinder engine. Uh, on the side. What do you guys think? Okay, I think it. twelve cylinders is gonna be more than enough for each one. Oh, there's a hole. Okay, we are going to join the. There's a hole. Yeah, look, it's floating. It's sinking. Sinking. Like so. Wait, uh, no, we are going to go get down, go down, go down, fuel. So let's do fuel. No, go down. And we're going to have to get that connected shit. to hose. So we're going to put it over. Go down. Go let's do it over here. And let's get a hose on it. And we're going to make sure that gets connected via rope. And via rope, we're probably also going to need some pumps. So, might as well add the pumps in <laughs> to okay. push the, the fluid Let's from our that. storage, which will be over here. I saw some way that's out. That. That's the other way around. It's floating now. Okay, so that's fine. We've got our pumps, we've got our engines, we've got our hey, fuel dynamics in air. So, we're going to need an air intake on the modular engine. Uh, we could stick that. So hard to get that bad up. There, maybe? Yeah, we'll have And we can do. We can do the air filter. Yeah, yeah. very simple. Okay, air filter. Turn on the engine. Well, that's what else it's do we need? Still on not working. We need some exhaust. Right. So let's grab some exhaust. Spinning? Not spinning. Okay, turn Wait, the throttle. The exhaust there, maybe? Oh, that's the front. Yeah, flash first. So exhaust can go over there. Okay, can you check if it's in? Okay, so that's the exhaust done, oh, no. the manifold done, and the oh, is good on there. We do need some way of starting it up. Now we could use an electrical engine, but I think I'm gonna go with a. I think we're gonna go with a belt. What? Wait, a gyro. Cool. I think we should go 12, because we're at 4, 8, 12. I think I remember what you did on your last one. Flywheel makes the engine more stable. Yeah, it does. I just never, I never really built with, um, with flywheels. Do we need the fuel? Remember your last boat? Do we need the fuel? Okay, remember your so we last got boat? that on. We can grab this? some starters. No, 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 don't. Yeah. Don't think we're going to need electrical engines, to be honest. Well, one remember starter when should you be enough. We could working? even add another one yeah. over there. Do you remember how to what else do we need? Engine? Yeah, I'm so just it's been a while since I've done the module engines. Uh, and usually, I think we would upgrade this one to a proper jet engine at a later stage. That. 
I think we're good. Exhaust, we're done. Cooling. Ah, oh, cooling. Cooling is the next thing that we need to worry about. So, where should we do the cooling? Underneath, maybe? No, let's, let's do it underneath. Maybe over here. Yeah, let's do it at the front. So, we can do. Oh, we can put a pump. Hold on. Let's grab a pump. Yeah, and just, just so do both. Just for the body. Like that's that's facing the right oh, way. No. It is. Uh, but we do sacrifice then. Hmm, I guess we can do it here. Let's delete that. Uh, we can put it over there. And then we could put our radiator here. So rad. We'll use a. I guess we'll get away with normal, normal size one. Missing something. And let's put it over here if we could. But I just need to build something first before we can do that. So I'm just going to put some blocks there and grab the radiator. Stick it over there. We need to, we need delete to that, fuel delete that, it. Delete that. Yeah, we and then we're going to go. Oh, the exhaust is here, isn't it? Gives us a little more space and exhaust there. And then we're going to go cooling pump. And then this one is going to go. Mm. Mm. Let's think about this and the way I've oriented this. I think so, I'm going to switch the orientation of this radiator five, to six. that. And that way we're going in there. This one. Then we're gonna go down. Oh, but I've got my fuel there. Hmm, okay. Uh let's remove the fuel for now. We'll put it somewhere else in a few seconds. Uh, let's go down here across okay. and then down here. Okay. So that's fine. And now we just need to do the fuel. Yeah. I guess we can put it anywhere, can't we? So the fuel intake. Find it, Let's stick it over there, we're going to get a tired now. rope anchor, stick it there, and we're going to connect the rope anchor there, and the rope anchor there. Cool. Okay, so that's my very shoddy modular engine design so far. It will look better, guys. Don't worry. It will look better at the next stage. Let's fill it in a little bit. Mm. Make it... Yeah. That should be okay. One, one like number. Exposed engine. Think of it that way. And we'll just fill this in with some blocks. Uh, we're doing okay. We've got about 10,000 left of our money, which is actually quite a lot. Ah. Considering. Okay, so we've got all that done. Air is done. Fuel's done. We've got exhaust. We've got a starter. We've got, a starter. We've got uh, cooling. Oops, yeah, we need to add on that piece for the cooling. I took that off actually. So we need to add that on somewhere. Where's the starter connected? In here. <laughs> need to try and make, make it fit in here somehow. Okay, let's do... Uh, let's undo what I just did. So let's go here. Let's put the radiator at the bottom. Hey, like I originally decided to do. Let's, uh... I guess we could go down. No, let's you don't need. Let's delete one of those. Let's delete that, let's delete that. And then we're gonna go into. Okay, watch this. Good spot, by the way. Watch this. I don't need the radiator so because the the water is from the sea. Big thumbs up to the that was. For reminding me about that. Uh, we're gonna delete that. We're gonna put that there. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. And we're gonna go there. Cool. Uh, we deleted. What did we delete? We've got our air still. This is my fuel, so I need to put the fuel back, and we could do the fuel over here actually. I'm still not right. Ah, we can deliver the... And we're going to make sure that is connected there, and that is connected over there. So we've got fuel now, we've got exhaust, we have our cooling, we have our air. I think that's everything. You guys can correct me I think if we need the I fuel. But I think we have everything. We are going to yeah, need a rescue range. Yes, we are going to need a rescue range at some point. Alternator? Uh, yeah, we could put an alternator on. How much space do I have to work with here? 
Yeah, we put an alternator on. That could be a good idea. I would like to use some proper generators, though. Just thinking about it. Um, but for now, let's use an alternator. I can stick... Actually, can I stick two of them on? I wonder if two is going to kill the engine. I don't think it would. And also, I wonder if this is mirrored correctly. Yes, it is. It looks like it has mirrored correctly, so... I'll be fine. Okay, so that's done. Um, let's see if we can get these engines actually running and see if they can actually power those big rotors. I'm hoping they can, to be honest. Uh, what else are we going to need? Do we need a gyro? Can't remember if the TT thing needs a gyro or not. Do we need a gyro for the TT piece? I don't think we do. I think it's got uh, a built-in. Yeah. Got a built-in gyro, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got some tilt sensors and things, so we don't need that. Okay, cool. So that should be good. Let's get these engines running. So we're going to use the NJ modular engine controllers. I've got one that works on set RPS. So we're going to grab two of those. And we're just going to put it up in the roof for now. We'll move them at a later stage. Let's get a throttle lever so we can control those engines. We're going to come down here. We can do a throttle lever, I guess, on the roof. So maybe here. Gonna go. Also lever. We can also get a key switch to turn everything right on. Angle. There we go. And let's put that on. We need a straight pipe. There. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. And this is gonna be to control our RPS. So we're gonna say five for starting, max value 20. Let's do 35 for sensitivity. Key switches turn everything on. Let's get some electricity to all of this lovely stuff. Let's just connect that there. Cool. We'll get a circuit breaker in at a later time once we've finished our testing. Get the okay. walls connected. We need the fuel. That connected. That connected. That connected. All of it connected over there. That's it. Intake. Cool. Okay, so that should be all the electricity done. We can put some. I'm not going to put any gears on here yet. We'll see how this actually behaves. Uh, let's put these on neutral. Or now. Ooh, fluid intake. That's good. Uh, what else do we need? We need composite from our controllers or engines. So or engine you still now fluid in and out of the fluid system. We don't need any of this stuff. We've got electricity metric. done. Okay, cool. It's supposed to leave a place on the roof. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. We can always move it later. I guess for testing, we can we can just leave it as is. Good. Alarons, yes, alarons. This is the first and best VTOL modular engine ever I've seen. <laughs> I haven't built a modular engine VTOL before, so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, shall we say? I don't know. It might be a complete fail, but um, why not? So that's on, off, on, off, on, off. That's on, off also. We need, let's see, what else do we need? So this is going to be RPS from engine. Okay. RPS from engine. Yeah. Throttle, Able which is over here. Throttle, me. which is over here. Radiator fans we don't have. Starter motor we do. So we Player of launch. Starter motor is. Uh, what else do we have? Fuel. Fuel. Nozzle. It's one of those. Fuel. This one I need fluid nozzle. We also have air, which is there, and air, which is there. Clutch, which is here. Clutch, which is oh, here. Oh, and then we've got electrical engine, which we don't have. We can add one. If we don't have enough power to start these engines, we could add a clutch. And sorry, not clutch, a electrical engine to it. Yeah. We just need to raise yeah. these up by one. I can also drop our helicopter down a little bit. Uh, cool, so that's all that done. In theory, in theory, this should turn on. This should turn on. I haven't connected um, any of this stuff yet, so we can do that later on. But, in theory, that should work. Okay, let's try. Wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. Those engines should turn on. In theory. I'm gonna put there. Um, do -do -do. Okay, running. Try RPS up. There they are. They're not spinning the biggest. 
Yeah. Give us a little canoe on the right wing. Yeah, we haven't finished. We haven't finished the worm. This is just a quick test. Not bad. So it does work. That's going to be fun, I think. Ah. Oh. The rope is not. So definitely, the engines are running. They should be running at a good. The rope is not bad. 20 RPS. So they should be running at 20 RPS. We can check the controller. There they are. So they're running at 20 RPS. They're running at 14.4. Wow. Oh, you know, so let's finish the dock is so too big. I'm going to get it closer. All the electrical stuff is done here. The only thing I missed is obviously... No, I haven't even missed that. I think everything is connected. Easy way to do it is when you hover over here, see if there's anything missing. You see everything's highlighted in white. That's why I like connecting everything straight to the battery. Um, that way when you hover over the battery, you can see if everything is connected or not connected. That's another another little thing that I always like to do when it comes to it. So we got, we're halfway through our budget, and in theory we've almost got 100% working VTOL. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to get TT's stuff all connected. And that's going to be fun. So um, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. So, user input, uh, place your altimeter as close to the nose. Okay, so we need altitude sensor, possible. Uh, we can put that right there, why not? We're gonna get that onto TT's module. So that would be for here. This is tilt controls, connect to the same lever. Okay, so if I'm correct, this remember, this used two different levers. So we're going to have another lever in, and this is going to be to switch flight mode, maybe over here in the floor. So this is to switch flight mode from, v obviously from being a helicopter into... This might flight. be what I need. So we're going to put that in, so... Okay, so we can do that. We can apparently set the controls. Zero is vertical, okay. And then, okay, vertical, zero is forward, horizontal. Interesting. Uh, what else do we have? We have got some other things we need to connect here, I think. So that's pitch left. So oh, pitch left. We've got collective left. We've got roll, which is the same on both sides, apparently. Okay, uh, we've got elevator. So that would be at the back. I'm correct. What else do we have? We've got rudder, which will be at the back too. So that would be all this stuff here. Uh, we have got all that connected. What about there? Got collective rights and pitch rights. And is that it? I think that's it, if I'm correct. Daisy chaining electric is bad. Yeah. Yes and no. There's there's positives and negatives to everything. There always is. Cooling tank, you don't have to have one. Uh, these engines do actually have cooling inside them, uh, which is quite interesting. But yeah, they actually do have okay. cooling. Uh, we I think what I have to exit on this map because this map is too big. Hard for us to move forwards and backwards. Ah, uh, yes. Good spot on that one. Um, because we inverted the props, we need to go and invert our things here. So, invert. Smart one. Nice one. Nice catch. Uh, we're going to add two inverts because we will need to invert the roll. The we will be go to a smaller map. Is fine. Just the roll, actually. We just need to invert the roll. So, nice catch on that one. And let's go and invert that. Spot on. Uh, what else do we need? How do we move our things though? I'm sure there was... Can you now put a pipe from the boat to the pump and remove the pipe? No, the because the... Maybe the elevator is the piece that goes and moves it forward. Uh, the pipe is... Well, it can be for fuel, uh, fluid, but I don't think it can. You need to connect the composite uh, from the 
it can reach so on the edit mode it ca you can't really left seat right seat left seat oh yeah maybe maybe it's possible yes it looks like it's a little bit too sensitive let me have a quick look can we configure yeah i know what you mean i'm gonna build a pipe and then put a nozzle Ooh. Yeah, that would be a so good idea. Up down modifiers. Up Just down do. minimum throttle. Interesting. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of settings here that we can change if we want to. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just check this actually does move forwards. Did I forget the oh, I didn't get electricity on that, did I? Maybe I did. I did yes. okay. Anything else that I forget? I yeah, say? this is starter base because this one is smaller. Yeah. We have to change the sensitivity of those. They are way too <gasps> sensitive. Uh, if we go Load. Forwards, does that? that Bar. The. So if you spawn it. Oh, we need to turn everything on, don't we? Just turn there on. you Let's go. Do I need... Do I get the jet or diesel? It doesn't matter, right? Is it a diesel engine? Yeah, I know I need the ailerons at the back. Yeah, I do know that. But this one is a jet fuel. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. At the moment, I'm just trying to fix the forwards and backwards. Okay, and then you're gonna go... And then you're gonna go attach yeah. here. Yes. Oh, we gotta go. to go up and then. Wiggle, and wiggle, then wiggle. you. Yeah, exactly. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You turn it on, isn't it? I'm not yeah, sure. Okay, let's try and fix that. Uh, so. We should be able yeah, to. Yeah, it's on. Pumping it's in. See? Head on there. So that was the elevator. Which you I just don't know whether. How are you gonna the, put. How how we know well, right that it's full? I thought it was full, but I didn't see any other controls. What I might do is I might just load his creation and just to quickly check, see which control goes there. But it's My not moving. It's still two one seven six. Yeah, wobble, wobble. <laughs> exactly. Wobble wobble. Um. Cool. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting a slightly bit chilly. You think the hose might be putting the pop backs? It could be. It definitely could be. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's ready. What it's we could set. always do oh. is we could always move that to the front, which means that we'll have more than enough space then. Uh, let's just get some entry mode on and move that. Why oh, is that what it means? Yeah. Let's see if that makes uh, any difference whatsoever. I can so detach the hose can... now. Oh, yeah, the, the hose is detached here. now. And we'll go forwards by one. Okay, let's, let's see if the. There. I'm gonna turn uh, the Rebecca. lever. Appreciate it. Okay, so we got that on. That's good. Uh, it shouldn't obviously wiggle wiggle anymore to remove that part. So let's check here. So, oh, something's push. not right. Maximum. We also need to assign seats in this at some stage for Stormlink. Up. Yeah, the engine is not starting. So you can see the rotors are pitched up, but we're actually not moving up, which means, yeah, we don't have enough power to lift this. We don't have enough power to lift this vehicle. Um, boop, boop, boop. It has no spark. Yeah, it doesn't spark. So nine to five no gears. spark. And let's try that. Let's see if we can do it that way. Jump in, key switch up, throttle up. Data output giving the charge we'll wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, of the battery from it. zero to one. Also, it should be. To the jet, so that's something we need to do at some point. This one here. Uh, it's yeah, Stormlink Aviation and um, the AI Rescue Service is what we're using. Yep, there we go. Look, 
We're up, we're up, we're up. Oh man. We're up. Can we actually hold an altitude? Okay, so it seems like we're just battling with power here. But, uh, we're up. Okay, so we're battling with power, but... Allows external on and off signal to control that's good. whether or not. Okay, uh, I'll just switch right. this to 1 by 8 for now. We'll change that in a few seconds. Uh, gearbox, let's make it a little bit 5 by 2. Um... Key switch, throttle up. How are we on cash? Okay, we got 6,000 left of cash. Let's see if we can go up now. Oh, there we go. Nice. Look at that. We can add an altitude hold system at some point. Oh, so the ladder is... Yeah, I definitely need an altitude hold system. Nice! Not bad. Not bad. Cool. Okay, really happy with that. Uh, let's try and fix this thing. So, you guys were saying that it's because of the rope, the elevator. Where's the AD? And so... What I'm going to do oh, is so this one is this. W and S. So we're saving it as survival. Yeah, so this one series VTOL. should be on the rudder. Cool. Oh, no, okay, so w and S VTOL. should be forward. Off. And I want to load up TT's uh, thing. I just want to double check what he did for this piece here. So what did he connect that to? Switch box. I would standard valve between negative one and one controlled using Inverted W, number. S, and S. Oh, okay, so that's just connected to a throttle lever. It actually doesn't come from the controller at all. Good to know. Good to know, good to know, good to know. And then this is, these ones at the back are actually connected to the elevator. Okay, with negative up. Okay, cool. So that's it. That's all I need to know. We're good to go now. So happy, happy, happy. Uh, so butyl, these ones need negative facing up. I guess we could use... What's the difference between using two small rudders in comparison to one large? So it's 100 versus 150. Well, I wonder if there's a... Versus 250. Let's go with this, no? What do you guys think? Should go with one of those? Yeah, why not? Yeah? Go with one of those. Um, cool. Rotation goes over to elevator. This I can't, goes over I can't to have a this switch throttle. The sound. I can't hear the sound. This and this. Cool. Let's go and spawn that in. So now we should track, be able to use right? the key switch to move our things left and right. It's or forwards and backwards at least. Sorry. Yep. There we go. So you can. Oh, okay. So that is a problem. <laughs> we need to. We need to raise. We need to raise that up a little bit more because that is way too low. It's touching the ground. And oh, actually, hold on. Couldn't we make this smaller? Do they, they still have the same? That could be a good idea. I wonder if it still hits the ground now. Let's try. I would say that clears. Just. Just clears. Just, just clears. Let's see if that hits the ground. Yeah, that's pretty good. We are moving forwards. We can even add nose wheel steering. That should be cool. Yeah, like one centimeter, exactly. Like one centimeter there. But it is working. Oh, I'll make sure I want to stop this, by the way. Uh, we need to add brakes. We need to add a whole bunch of things on here. Got to hit the ground on landing. Well, on landing, you're going to land, you're going to land like this. So I think we'll be fine. Okay, cool.
Um, but, 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 but what do we need? We would like nose wheel steering, and I think I'm going to raise this up by one here in the front in any case. So let's get a pivot in here. And we're going to use our robotic pivots. And we'll stick that in there. And we're going to go and add another coaster wheel. So raise this up a little bit. Put the coaster wheel there. Happy days. We can even add a spotlight on that if we wanted to, which could be a cool thing. Uh, that will even give it an angle. We can move these wheels to maybe here. Yeah, sure. That will give it a little bit of angle also, which would be pretty cool. We could add shock absorbers in the back if we wanted to. Uh, so we could cut down the space inside our fuel, but we could add some shock absorbers. What if you want to land as a plane mode? Yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah, we just probably wouldn't do it that far. Uh, what I also do want to do is I want to do hotkeys. So one will be to start the creation, which is the key switch. Uh, two is going to be for up. Is going to be down. Cool, that's fine. That's done. Uh, let's move these controllers into somewhere more logical. So we're just going to go grab them, cut, rotate, down. Yep, paste this one over here. Two days. Grab this one. Cut, down, down, paste. Happy days. Uh, we need to put these ones down also, so let's grab this. How many layers does he have on this? One, two, two layers. Okay, cool. So we're going to cut that and let's stick that in one of the wings, I guess. If we can, maybe not. Let's do it over here. Yeah, why not? Let's do it over there. Yeah, sure. So there's one, and then the last one we need is this thing. Oh, we forgot that middle piece there, that's fine. Uh, we also need this whole pack, so let's take all of this, and like that. And let's cut it, and let's stick it down here somewhere, so we'll never see it. Yeah, sure, yeah, there we go. Stick it over there, this we can actually flip around. And cut, rotate cross paste done 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 and we just got this little piece here to fix so now we're going to cut that stick it in somewhere also you'll never see it you know we're still playing with that like that happy days cool we can delete that and we can just bring this somewhere also where we'll never see it so cut and let's put it somewhere maybe in the back here sure why not well, now we'll have to clean this whole creation up at a later point in time to uh, stick it over here. There we go, that should be alright. Can I merge, please? There we go. Okay, so we've got that done. Uh, that shouldn't hopefully interfere too much there. We could always just do that there. Instead, did I just delete the block? No, I didn't. Good. Okay. Uh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Happy days, happy days, happy days. We do need a winch for rescue missions. Um, will you make retractable landing gear? Yeah, we might do at a later time. Uh, just I'm watching my money at the moment. I don't want to go too far with with um, features just yet. But um, yeah, I think it's it's not going too bad at the moment. Um, cool. So we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. Maybe some dials and things to see what our speed and things are. So maybe just a very very basic dashboard. Nice. So oh, let's nice use a. Oh, you have a seat for now. We're going to need a speed sensor somewhere in our creation in any case, because I do want to know what our speed is while we're traveling along in the world. So we're going to get that in there. Uh, we can do some dials and some other things. So artificial horizon, sure. I guess we could use one of our artificial I don't get horizons. It. How much are displays these days? Ooh. Okay, we're not using uh, displays anytime soon, ladies and gentlemen. They are quite expensive. Quite, quite, quite expensive. Uh, so let's just get some of these in. So one, two, one, two. Maybe we can do something like that. And something like that. And maybe a speedo or another one. Oh, fucking mad. The 
Oh, Mike died on this chat. Probably quite a bit. Artificial horizon. Okay, have it. One in front of each one. Pilots. Pilots. Eat that. And what else should we do? We've got some things there. Maybe some fuel. That's for the subs. That's <laughs> last patient. Fuel, sure. Uh, we're going to use what, another dial, maybe. Oh. Fuel. We can. I guess we could use a composite panel. Oh, there it is. I found the starter. How are we going to integrate it on the... How are we going to add it here in the engine? The alternator. Get the flush. So this is the one I need. Okay, I just need a generator, not a compressor. Yeah, I don't need this. So I just need Fluid exhaust, fluid filter, fluid flow valve. Liquid to liquid heat exchanger. Ooh. 
Taylor Funk. The engines are
I feel this is my new seat is haunted by prayer. Oh, okay. You blow your nose. Oh. Just give me a sec, guys. I'll uh. Ooh. Ooh, the engine is... The engine turned! Right. See? Look! I'm moving forward! sound like that. Is it because I need a clutch? Yeah. Look, at, look at that. Look at the sound of the engine. Yeah, you need a clutch. Yeah. yeah. It's working now. Can you can you see it, Gandalf? Works now. Yeah. Wait, if you turn up with you on the water, it doesn't sound. Oh, is it? Yeah. A clutch, please. Yeah, maybe we need to put a clutch. No, it's working. No, that it's, it's in so much there there has to be smoke when the engine starts up. We need we we put a catalytic converter, right? Okay. That's why the there's no smoke. If you remove that, 
here show you come on let's let's go back to the let's go back to the workbench oh this is so slow Ooh, the throttle. The engine might get too hot. It's so slow. Takes ages. I think we need to put a clutch. Maybe we can double the engine, man. I I I. Stop the engine. Okay. Hey, Hall, appreciate it, bro.
Where's the clutch? There's the clutch. Gonna put put some paint. Probably we can. We can make this Uh, this one. You okay? Perfect geometry.
It's a lot better. Yeah. That looks like a box. It just looks like a normal boat. Yeah. How about these pipes as those? These are what? The pipes. No, I'm gonna put a clutch. I'm gonna put a clutch. Where's the clutch? Okay. Then, so this one will control the clutch. So this one is and then the W Oh no, it has a hole. doesn't stop. The yeah, the clutch is not... Stop. The clutch is not connected to the engine. the clutch that's oh. 
Oh, not a clutch. It's a gearbox. That's the one I need. Yeah, there you go. A gearbox. Two gear ratio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hold on. Ooh, you're gonna put two. Ooh, it's much faster now. Yeah, but... Yeah, but the clicking is still there. Yeah, the clicking is still there. One. Three years, right? You blow, blow it, blow out.
What are you planning to do? Just move them out. Thank you. 
Someone raid us. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone, ActiveX Control here, and this is ActiveX Gaming. Yeah, I'm just gonna check in. Same window. Yes. How was your stream? Not you. Like you. Yes, they rated us. I don't know what they're doing, or they're purposely trying not to do anything. That's the way it looks. Yeah, it looks like a filibuster. Someone here doesn't care if the meeting ends or not, or if it's solved. I know some people do that. Like, I've seen oh, teammates that were just in AFK. <laughs> Let's like, see. Why do, they, why do tears spot me? That if that's a link there, guys. So good, I or yep. flow in... Flow in Owen69. Oh, why did why you added something on the side? Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. Rest of all, my dude. Good night. Thank you so much again, Flo. Oh, Owen. What are those? Those are sensors. Yes, that's for an airplane. Oh, 
Daddy, Stubby. What do you need the stubs for? Why? Where are you going to put it? Why is it moving? Why is it moving in the end? Just go back to this side. Look at there. Drag it. You just click it, not drag it. So click. See, there it is. See, there's the step. I think it's too hard. Still too hard. Oh no no wait. You can twist it. Now I just have to over like this and run it in. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Ooh. Well, well, this is a real ship. We just need this, this, and then we're done. It's almost a real ship. <laughs> it still floats. Yeah, of course. Since ships float, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna work down some workbench and you're gonna, you're, you're gonna know what I'm gonna do. The what walls. are you gonna do? The, the walls. walls. Okay. I'll do it just nice and white. Also, where's the light bulbs? Since when I'll, it's I'll do the light bulbs because it needs it needs a lot of this it needs and then where, this. and then where is that where is that window piece window oh i know how to spell it it's y uh n no win we i we um i yes Window by two by two. Two by two. Two by two. But where are you gonna put the window? You don't have a wall. No, I'm gonna put the wall first and then the window. Okay. Oh wait, I don't have to drag it. Just click it. Dad, can you move it a little bit up? Since I you wanna do? Do you wanna do the symmetry so that it will? Huh? Okay, you so... will do this on the same. The sim yeah. symmetry will do yeah. Do the trick. Yeah, do the walls. Yes. Oh yeah, I'll make it faster since wait, why is that side not building? It is. No, it's not. I couldn't see the building. It's building at, at the bottom. Oh yeah. Um, because it's not equal. Yeah, it's not equal. So you disable that first. And then do it. And then you need to delete that. Yes. Since that's too on the screens. Okay, yeah. now yeah. we're gonna put... We're gonna do the walls, right? Yeah. Just that's... don't do it overload, right? I like... I love you, Dad. 
Wait, how about the ones for the captain, the windows? Yeah. We need the tilted windows. And then we're gonna name it human. What are we gonna name it? Oh yeah, we already named it Barge, so let's keep it that name. We're gonna keep it that name. Yeah. Okay. Barge. This is your this is your second ship that you made with me. Oh yeah. And so, and then this one. Why does your other ship look a little bit ugly? <laughs> Since it only is like a rectangle and then just a steering wheel and an engine and power and that's it. That's it? Yeah, and the lights. That's it. Yeah, it has some lights. Yeah, but this one doesn't yet. Right? Is this one better? Yeah, we can do use that. I like it when it's like that since it's like there's another like pointy bit. So okay. if the waves come up, then we're gonna we put the window here. Oh, how about there? There. Oh no, where's the window here? Okay, it's here. No, you're gonna. Oh, do you the mean the angled windows? Yeah. Wait, I'll do the angled windows. No, we're gonna put this angle here. Yeah, that one's fit. Yeah, there we go. Wait, that one's not even twisted properly. Oh, there it is. That's... No. And um, yes. But the other ones, why are they changing so much? I, I need to go pee. Okay. Go. Hey, the light is open. Okay, good. How? Daddy? Dad? Mm -hmm. I like it when I have a ship. That's the first ship you ever made. Yes. You made a Coast Guard one. That's right. Before. Uh, I can't, can't seem to get the... Oh, Right angle. I remember something. Remember mm. these two by two by twos? I think I know this. Yep. They actually fit, but just a little bit long. Oh, wait, no, maybe it's in the front. Oh, yeah. Wait, I remember. I had to put these at the front. And then block the other. Please, not like that. I Wait! I don't don't to... move my hand. I'm... It's at... Yeah, like that. Very good. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah. Now that triangle piece is a little bit... Also, it needs to have a... A square. It needs to have what? something to hold on. Oh, See, yeah. For example, like that. Yeah. And Ooh. then you just need to do that wall, but a little bit different. Wait, move. How about we can move that? We can move the controls up to this area. And then the seat will be near the controls. Inside the, yeah, I remember Frantic did a copy and oh, a paste. Maybe, maybe we no, can... No, Frantic did a copy and a paste. I remember how he did it. Hmm. I think he copied it and then pasted it. There you go. 
Wait, you can just... Yeah. See? There we go. Oh, that, that one is not... Wait, how about just get that? Wait, yeah. I, I can do something. And there's that. And then that's it. Yeah, but how about... You yeah, then just, you just yeah. put it there. Yeah. Yes. That's how I want it. But you can't see the. Oh, yeah. Can you see the hole? Wait, I think I. Um. Uh, oh, no. I think we need to put oh. the whole window. Yeah, whole window. Oh my! It overlapped still. And it looks a little bit like a glumpy face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like a glumpy face in this. <laughs> a grumpy face. Yeah. Wait, face. I can fix that. Remember what you did with this one? Okay. I can fix that with that. Okay. Right? You, you try to fix it. Wait. Come on, Atlas. I'm sleepy now. <laughs> Where is that? What is what was I looking for again? What are you looking for? Uh, what is it? Hmm. Oh yeah, those things. What the things? This one, the inverse pyramid. Right. Can you twist them a little bit? I can do it. See? You can go there. Wait. Um, I'm just gonna make it look like this for now. Mm -hmm. Since I don't know how to turn around stuff in so much. Okay. Oh yeah. It's still look. Whoa. Why is the top so low? Look. What? The top is so low. Yes. Can I just return to the workbench? Can you just make that higher, Daddy? The walls? Huh? <laughs> it's too low, and I can only crouch under it. Oh. Wait, you can just come yeah, in the back? Yeah, it's gonna bleed. Yeah, because I'm not that good at turning stuff. It's practice. Hmm. Hello? Are you my biscuit? Are you my biscuit? Are you my biscuit bum? Are you my biscuit bum? He's of a thick brain for and shit. Right. Oh, okay. But this one here. Um, we don't want to use that. No, we're gonna use, we can use that one. Right? Yeah. 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 And then blocks on, and then more windows. Yeah. And then more windows on the top since we don't want to. I don't want me to be squished again. Right? Right? They're not bound to. Oh. Okay. Now we just need to do the lights after the roof. I'm 
mean the woo? Right? Mm -hmm. Wait. We're gonna disable this. And get this. That. Uh, the block. Not the window. And yeah, then the put the roof like a wing of blocks. A roof block. Yeah. Oh, wait. So we need to toggle this mm -hmm. one. To make it quicker, right? Mm hmm. Oh. Oh. There we go. There you go. Oh, how about the front? That looks a little bit flat. Oh, yeah, right. I want... So, I want... The tilted the, windows again. I want the tilted windows here. Mm, tilted windows. Ooh, my butt. Ah, uh, my butt. Take. Cheeks are the best butt cheeks ever. The biscuit is on the floor. We need, we need a bigger one. Yeah. How about this one? Is it a three by three? The two by two. This is the three by three. Yeah, three by threes are very much bigger than two by twos. There yeah. you go. It overlaps. There we go. go back. I need to delete this one. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like your builds, Dad. Yeah. Yes. And I remember when I went to build out your first ship, didn't you? Can you put it here? No, you couldn't put it on top of each other. Can you? Oh yeah, you mm. can't. No, you can't. Um, why are those facing that way? Those are not supposed to face that way. What? But it's overlapping. There yeah. we go. Just... Why does it keep on doing that? Oh, and then get the blackies. Wait. Wait, I need these black. Refills. Yeah. Fill it. Do it. Not even. Oh. We're gonna fix that one. Why is it not that tall? Wait, I think you can put the other windows on top of here. Like, standing down from that top. How about that? This one? Yeah. Three by three. Oh, Wait, yeah. yeah. Ooh, they don't fit properly, right? Oh, well, maybe. Oh yeah, wait. Put it maybe, in that maybe. lower. Put it in that lower position. That's so hard. Yeah. Oh. Oh. How about we can just. Wait, we can just wait go in the go in the middle with the trees. Maybe we can we need to extend it right there. Ooh. Yeah, but it'll not make it tilted. Well, it's not gonna cover look. It's not gonna tilt. Mm. Well, 
That's the side window. From this one. Corner. That, that one. It's two by two. Oh, cool. So, three, two, then go. Three small. Three by three. Yeah, it should be the three by three. I want four by four. Four by four is the biggest. Oh my. Oh, there we go. There you go. We have to fill in that one. Oh, like that. okay. I know now. So you have to delete that, delete that, delete that. So we need to put this one first. when we do that. Okay. There it is. Oh, wait, the other side. So the other side, you're going to delete that. And you're going to put that. Oh, I think that's the uh, left. Yeah. Oh, there we go. No. Yes, yes. No. Yes. Just the wrong one. Yeah, but it's still alright. Oh, it's because it could be the full corner. Full corner. Three by four. Three by four. Full oh, corner, three by three. Four by four. That's a two oh, so there's three. a four by four window. Yeah. What's the four, four by four window? Um, here. Yeah. So no, that's three by three. It's two by two. One. One by three, one by one. Angles. Window diamond. Pyramid. Ooh. One by four. So this one, this one needs to. We can. So with this one. You can't, you can't angle it. There you go. See, I was telling you that. There. And then. We just need to do. No, we need to. We need to delete that and delete that. We're going to put the, no, the 3 by 3 here. 3 by 3 by 3. We don't even have a throttle, right? We only have a clutch. So we need a two by three. And we don't even have a clutch. Oh yeah. We don't even have a clutch. We need a we need a one by three or and oh yeah one by three. We need a we one. We need by a light on the roof. Yeah. Oh. Dad, look, my iPad. Oh, oh. Wow. 
one by two. Come on, you're sleepy now. No, I'm not that sleepy. That's too s small. Maybe this one. Yeah, because there's a three above it too. No, that's a straight crease. It's actually not a tilted. Yeah. Hey, why is that deleted? <laughs> Wait, I want to do something. I have to get... No, Dad, I have to take down this finger. What is that again? Wait, I need something. Wait, I think I remember. Um, where is it? I have to get it the very bottom. Oh, it is. A wind sensor. Oh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Put it on the top. No, you're dragging it. Okay. Don't drag it. Just okay. flick it. Dad, can you just, um, pull it up? No, oh, pull it up. Move the mouse. Oh, right click. And then, boom. There you go. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it. Up this. You have to keep on going with that. <sighs> Let's go now. Come on. I want to test it. Right? Where is it? Ooh. Okay, but then... It's like a manly fairy. Manly fairy. I'm just going. What? Why is that there? Oh, that was spinning. Okay, yeah, it's just spinning. Okay. I'm going to try to turn. Oh, it's much better at turning. Right. Um, okay. Ooh, this is not okay. quicker now. Okay. okay. How do we gonna get? How are we gonna get that? Uh, what? What do you call that? That trailer? It's in the bottom. Uh, wait, uh, we can add a wrench to this. 
and then connect it from there. So then we're gonna swim. Um, oh, it's not interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna win. I'm too close to, to the other side of the map. I'm gonna park it. Mm -hmm. It's so wiggly. Yeah, we need to put a fin. Oh yeah, we have to put a... Wait, oh no. That's fine. Oh, no. oh. Come on now. We save it and then we do it again tomorrow. We need to put a stabilizer fin. Fin can be attached to the surface of the vehicle that directs motion. It takes a number in between wires. Fin rudder, control fin. Fin. Ah, there's a large fin. Fin, I mean. Stabilizers. Stabilizer. Yeah, stabilizer. There's no stabilizers. Ah, uh, uh, okay. I can put a, a weight block here. I can replace it with a weight block. So it's a bit so the nose the front will be up what no it will not wobble I'll show you. See? See, it's not wobbly. Point too fast. Well, I don't have a reverse. Ooh. Anyway, we're gonna save it first. Come on now. All right, thanks everyone. We're gonna ro let's raid someone. Who are we gonna raid tonight? Ooh, there's so many right now. Ah, oh, we're gonna raid.
Captain Nonsland. No, that's too much now. Okay. Alright. I'll see you again next time, guys. Thank you, Smitty. Thanks, Owen, for the raid. I'm still Blade. Gandalf, thank you so much. Either warriors still haunt the crater. We could put them to rest. And also, I strongly suspect there are more spirits who witnessed the clash <coughs> and destroyed their home. Sounds like a plan. Papa Yuni. Reso stone lang katapat ng tumag da yun. Lagi ko nakakalimutan bumili ng reso eh.
gargle gargle your gargle there so that it will go away. So it doesn't dry out. 